no sports ball team except for their university. Yes. Yes. Which you would Which think you they would notice. have. So better. a lot of college, but they like, don't. Places that have big college fan bases, their pro teams either they don't have them, or they or they're not that good. Does Alabama have a pro team? No. No. Does New Louisiana? Orleans does? Yes. 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 But they only they have the Saints, the Pelicans, and then college. Wait, no, Tennessee is the Titans. Tennessee. I Titans. like them because of their colors. That's how I pick my teams. Go sports. Okay. So, so we could name what every team the in, the, in the league. They are purple let's, and teal. Let's keep moving oh. on. Baby Butt Doctor says, during the off season, there should be X, XFL football night. That's what I'm saying. What's F- XFL? It's WWE football. Oh, can they actually like break teeth? No, but oh. they don't do extra points. Uh, there's different rules. They're going into week four. So by the time this is done, week four will be over. They're doing really well right now. Viewership is up as opposed to when it came out back in, what, 2001 originally? Yeah, wild. So but by the time I get this edited, the XFL season will be over. Well, if it takes as long as it did for us to write it. Do we have an <laughs> XFL team? No, Tampa does. They have the Tampa Bay Vipers, and they are awful. They are 0-3 right now. I don't understand any of this. It's Just another say football letters. league. It's a different football league. Just say letters. Like, you can put anything in front of FL. So is it CAFL? Like CAFL. Yeah, like CAFL. No, JL explained it. It's the wrestling version of football. If Vince McMahon owns the XFL. So, so do they, they don't wear padding. They... Yes. There are eight teams in it. So everybody just tackles people whether or not they have a ball? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like, don't, do they not... throw chairs at each other? They, no, we don't do that anymore. Concussion issues. They, oh. they are football. They play football like regular football, but with Vince McMahon's flair for entertainment. I don't understand what. All right, do, we're moving on. Do they wear like? No, we're little... moving on. No, still, no, they don't wear still the normal football they don't wear... stuff. He said flare. They don't. That's wear what I meant. Wait, 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 wait. Do they have to? Does wear anybody fenders f- with buttons on them? Does anybody flash anybody? No, no, that would be why more interesting. Am I, why am I? Do watching they this? do they win a very big belt? Moving on. Okay, for no pants. That they don't wear pants, don't, but they they, they they are all fighting for a really big belt. Hit me with your best pot says, <laughs> nothing gets my blood pumping here like the NFL anthem. Dun, 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 dun. Was that the anthem? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they wrote. <laughs> oh, okay. Twisted Nipple says, I hate <laughs> I hate football and I hate soccer and I hate any sport with a ball or a Is that brooder? I would rather see competitive cake eating. I think that's brooder. I mean, is I Twitter handle would like Twisted to. Nipple? Twisted Nipple? Competitive cake eat. But there's too much gluten. We would all like competitive. <laughs> I would not. What if they made you a gluten free cake to competitively cake eat? Well, I do that regularly. Speaking of Bruder. I didn't know it was a sport. Bruder, did Bruder leave us a message? Bruder did. Let's hear what he has to say. I love you, Bruder. Hello. This is Bruder. I. Tape Monday Night Football and then watch it on Wednesday night. And I tape Sunday Football and I watch it on Friday night. So I won't be listening to this episode unless you're going to do Wednesday Night Football or Friday Night Football. Thank you, Bruder. <laughs> <laughs> in all fairness, in the amount of time that it took us to record this and or write this. They now play football seven days a week. They, yeah. they do. <laughs> well, I was going to say, why don't we just save this episode for the start of next football season? <laughs> <laughs> By the time he's done editing it, it might happen. <laughs> Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm dreading the next couple of days. As you should. Well, You're welcome. <laughs> what got us here? Let's reopen that beer cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want to? JL Cooler. No one away. No one gonna wait. JL Cooler. Never went away. Never went away. Get out of the corner. Boom. 
Perfect. <laughs> All right, Jail. What is this again? <laughs> <laughs> it is Bud Light Seltzer. <laughs> There are four different flavors, though, for everybody. Yes, we did four different flavors. I got the variety pack when I went. We did strawberry, lemon lime, mango, and black cherry. I did all four. <laughs> I have had three out of four. And, yeah. Laura, you did something genius with it. What did you do? Well, oh, I, I originally started with the strawberry, um, because normally I really like strawberry anything. And I found it to be drinkable, but on the sweeter side. Is my opinion of the like strawberry. Like a strawberry? No, like <laughs> real, real strawberries aren't always that sweet, but fake strawberry is sweet. I like it. Um, so finally, about halfway through the show, I, I received the lime flavor. <laughs> and like three quarters of the way. I found that one to be slightly bitter. So in my weird mind, they said, well, this one's too bitter and that one's too sweet. What do they taste like mixed? And I have to say, the strawberry lime mixed, I would give a six to. They they balance each other out very nicely between the bitterness and the sweet. What would you give overall? I don't want to rate each flavor, but what, overall, overall, like if I wasn't mixing them overall, I would I would give it a four. All right, Sabrina. I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's a six for me. I mean, you can say your favorite flavor, but she's drunk. Yeah, I'm, I'm drunk. Um, I've had all four flavors. Um, I started with the black cherry and ended with the strawberry, but I really like the strawberry. The strawberry um, and lemon lime were probably my top two. Mango you should have tried them together. Flavor. Here, you want to sip? Yes, <laughs> but you can't have the whole thing. Okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So mixing them together, yeah. Is- Freaking genius, right? Yeah, you want to? I guess you want to sure, try the strawberry um, lime. No, I would. I would. Yeah, it's a six for me. Um, they're not overpowering in flavor. Um, Except strawberry is very strong. I mean, strawberry is. I mean, it's if you like strawberry, you're going to enjoy it. In my but opinion. see, with strawberry, I expect it to have an overpowering flavor yes. just because of the flavor you get from when you bite into yes. a strawberry. But you get that flavor from a strawberry. It's not like that really over, like that fake strawberry flavor. It's, you get a nice strawberry flavor from it. Yeah, so it's a six for me. Oh. Um, they're, they're nice. They're bubbly. They're alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's a six. They are not bubbly. It's, well, it's not. <laughs> they are bubbly because it tickled my nostrils. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be on the opposite end of this. I only had the mango. I think that was the problem. I think that was the problem, problem. too. I love love mango. Mango is the best fruit. Fake mango is the best fake of fruit. No, banana. And um, this tasted like somebody dipped a mango in a beer and then gave it to you to lick the skin. Yep. It was terrible. Mango was rough. There's no beer in the seltzer, though, Chris. But it tastes tastes very beer Mango Mango was rough. Mango, I... It tastes like a beer. Because I was going to say, I think I... Chris and I were the only ones... Maybe I should have tried mango mango just to... Well, well, no, I'm not going to now. Oh, well, you have time. So my rating is a one. Mm. I can understand that. Mango, I think, was probably my least favorite. And the label is a one. Oh, without a doubt. Label yeah. one. Yeah, it's very boring. All right, yes. Beer Master. All right, so I'm going to start this off by I totally got this as a joke <laughs> because we were doing Monday Night Football, and Bud Light is the official beer sponsor of the NFL. And I just thought that this was going to be the most awful mixture, and all of us were going to give it ones. <laughs> 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 Joke's on you. I drank four. So, <laughs> with that being said, I have been very pleasantly surprised yeah. with how good they are. Yeah. The black cherry isn't bad. Strawberry is a little sweet. Lemon lime is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I am starting to understand why people are drinking these things because they hit you hard, low calorie, and I get it. The flavor was really good. Yeah. I will not rate it a six. I got to agree with Laura overall. I think a four is the perfect ranking for these. 
Yeah. Because ideally, you should not drink more than four of them because otherwise you'll end up like Sabrina. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for my fifth one. <laughs> well, here comes the mango. Aww. Yeah. Somebody's got to drink the mango. Yeah, overall, I think they're done really well. Yeah. And I, I, I think they're good. So. Have you had White Claw, though? I have not had White Claw. I've heard mixed reviews on White Claw. I've not had White Claw. I haven't had Truly. I've had High Noon, which is a vodka soda mix and all that. I had their grapefruit one. Truly is eh. Yeah, I'm not a fan I, of Truly. So. I've tried I enjoy the, the White, White Claw. Claw Black Cherry. Which, I heard that's yeah. the worst one to have. But according to somebody somewhere in this world, they said that right now, White Claw's Black Cherry flavor is the Most number popular. one selling of the seltzer of the spike seltzer um thingamajig yeah <laughs> spike <laughs> spike seltzer is the right answer yeah no yeah. they are very much in demand and i but read an article cherry, how the white claw is, flavor so i love high lie and high lie a few years ago had an issue with keeping up with product demand so they had to outsource to other breweries to help make to keep these sales up which is what highlights which, are, um, White which Claw. is what I read White Claw is having issues yes. with now. Yes. So we have one in the cooler in the refrigerator that has a mermaid on it. That's What's Starbucks. <laughs> no, no, she's not a mermaid. I don't know what it is. I think that's truly. <sighs> no, I don't oh, think it's truly. truly. truly I'm sorry, I'm still laughing at Starbucks. I think I've had truly in my fridge for like a year and a half now. <laughs> Just the, well, I'm going to tell you guys, Same if you're looking, if you're looking yeah. for the seltzer, Bud Light is better than the one with the mermaid. I don't know what it's called. Starbucks. No. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of those ones I might have to get it's... the others to try because, again, with the beer cooler, you never know what you're going to get. We've yeah. done wine. We're now doing this, which I've always said we should try. Yeah. Do one of the hard seltzers because they are so in demand. It was, I mean, it's a, like if I was sitting down and or if I was at a, like a... Like out to a, like, like a, a, frat party. a barbecue or a frat party. <laughs> I go to those a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I knew it. That's why you always have broken glasses. Hey. That's why I keep a backup pair in the <laughs> desk. <laughs> no, I think it's 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 a nice light beer alternative. So yeah. if you're looking for something that's locale but has enough of like a little bit of a bite to it, I think it's a great option. Yeah. All right. Well, where can you find us? Yeah. <laughs> Right here, Chris. <laughs> right here. In our podcast in our room. podcast room. Um, you can find us on Facebook in the official Podcast 42 Facebook group. Of course, you can always find us on Spotify, Apple Music, Spreaker, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, anywhere a, a podcast can be found. We're there. Um, you can join our Patreon group. Uh, we love Patreons. You can go on there. We have extra episodes, any outtakes, any of the full episodes. We're, they're all on there. You can join for a minimum of $3 a month. It's not a whole lot, but it goes back to us. We've got a website. It's podcast42show.wordpress.com. It lists all of our episodes, our beer guide, and more. Um, we're part of the Podfix Network. Uh, you can email us at podcast42show at gmail.com. We absolutely love to hear from you guys. Speaking of which, you can also call or text. It's 321-285-5512. So go ahead and call or text us. We would love to hear from you guys. Brutti does so every week, and we absolutely adore it. Even the week we forgot to play him. Even the week we forgot to play. Sorry, Bruder. Not that you listen but to us he to doesn't find listen. out. Exactly. He doesn't know. His girlfriend um, knows, though. That's that's very true. But you know what? He's committed to us, and I appreciate that about him. You can... Graphics and music. Yes, graphics and music. We also have a website. And then our artwork is done by Cute Panda. You can find Cute Panda four commissions on facebook so that's cute panda and then of course our theme music is done by cramo you can find more music on cramo.net you can also find him on facebook as well under cramo all right well thank you bud light seltzer <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. i'm christopher devos i'm sabrina pierre jl tropes i'm laura bye Stay fresh, cheese bags. Catch you on the flippity flop. 
Gong. <laughs> Not all conversations or events are 100% accurate, as if you didn't figure that out already. But things are changed or...